Dobro večer, poštovanje, dragi gledatelji. Dobrodošli još jedan jedan na jedan. Moj večerasni gost stiže iz Rijeke, ali u stvari iz Brajtona. I to sa tezom da su Brajton i Rijeka slični gradovi. On je Englez, on je Martin Mehju. Izgovorite, molim vas, vaše ima sve strance, pitam, dobrodošli. Hvala. Da izgovore sami, vi ćete pričati naravno engleski, ali izgovorite sami sve ime da ja ne griješim u akcentu ili ne znam. Mayhew. Mayhew. Uredno, gospodine Mayhew. Idemo u emisiju. Dakle, vi ste prevoditelj, prevodite Kamova, izuzetno zanimljivog našeg autora. Koliko je zapravo naša literatura poznata u Engleskoj? Vi prevodite i poeziju i prozu i... I would say that it's not well known. Only contemporary literature is known in England, as far as I know. Koji autori? Jergović, Dubravka Ugrišić. Yeah, and a couple from Rijeka that have been approached by one publisher based in London, and they have been published quite recently. And this is because they are contemporary authors. But for older, let's say, older Croatian authors, there's no... I'm not aware of... modern translations. Vi dolazite u Hrvatsku prije deseta godina i namjeravate zapravo ostati jedan tjedan i napisati neku reportažu. Ali da ja ne pričam vaš život, kako je to izgledalo, koji su razlozi dolazka i koji su razlozi ostanka? It was... I actually came here in 2000, in the year 2000, almost 20 years ago to this day. Uh, as, a, as a journalist, I was writing for a... Na današnji dan? Um, the end of February. Oh, sjajno. 20 years ago. Odlično. As a journalist, I came for a very big magazine, Lifestyle magazine, and I, I wrote a travel piece about uh, Thres, Opatia, and I was here for Rijeka Carnival. And um, that's and made such a big impression on me that I decided to move here a few years later. And um, since that time, I've, uh, since 2010, I've been working as a full-time Croatian to English uh, translator. Prije toga ste dugo ni, dugo ni godina radili za i taj magazin i za uh, zapravo izdavače u Engleskoj, koliko znam, na upravo tim putovanjima širom svijeta. That's right. I, I've tra I, tra I did travel quite a lot of Europe as a, uh, as a writer, which was fantastic for me. That was a great experience. Uh, because the magazine I was working for is a lifestyle and travel magazine. Uh, it's changed its name since then. And, um, but, uh, yeah, I was, uh, Croatia was uh, a place that I'd never really heard of. Rijeka, absolutely never heard of. When the editor said, who would go to Croatia? It was not a call. No. There was, um, the Croatian National Tourist Board co contacted the editor, which is how the system works, and says that we have, uh, we would like to invite somebody from your magazine to come to Croatia for seven days. Mm -hmm. And um, all the other travel writers were free. And so I put my hand up and said, yes, I'll go. But I wasn't really sure where I, was, where I would be going. So, uh, so when I first came, the Rijeka Carnival was just a, just a fantastic uh, experience. And... Um, That's the reason why I decided to... Karnaval u Rijeci. Yeah. I presudio da ostanete ovdje. Yeah. Pa dobro, ostali ste dani na razliku od karnevala u Hrvatskoj. Tako da mogu kazati da niste pogrešili. Evo, sad smo saznali kako ste našli se u Rijeci, dakle na Kvarneru, jer ste spomenuli Cres i ostale destinacije. Ostali ste, dakle, jer se dopalo. Pa sad da pitam, što vas se dopada u tom splinu Rijeke, u toj atmosferi, što vas je privuklo da je izaberete kao svoje prebivalište kao mjesto, mislim, kojom ćete kreirati svoj životni prostor. Što je najzanimljivije, vi nalazite u rijeci, u tom splinu, ajmo krenuti od atmosfere, veliku sličnost sa Brightonom. Ja, kada je ceremonija u Rijeka 2020 bila tako jedan fantastik event, that um, I suddenly, it was like a puzzle. I suddenly joined parts of where I come from to where the parts, of, to the place where I live now. And then it was like, like, like the, the game Tetris, things started falling into place and I started recognizing 
the comparisons between the two mm -hmm. cities. And um, uh, being a translator is not an easy job. And um, but, uh, um, it's interesting because I'm lear learning more about language and culture and I'm working with lots of different clients in different fields of uh, creation. Dobro, ali vi niste samo prevoditelji, vi ste duboko upočeni u kulturu i kulturnu produkciju Hrvatske, vi ste i grafički dizajner, vi imate izuzetno intenzivne kontakte uopće sa ljudima koji danas slove to kao recentna kulturna proizvodnja ove zemlje, da to tako kažem, suhoparno. Pa o tome ćemo govoriti, no vratimo se tim početcima. Što je u atmosferi grada? Aha. Što je u atmosferi grada? Ne sad mislite, ne mislite na kulturu. Ono što vam izgleda kao... Vi ste rodom iz Brightona. I was born in, I was born in a, a smaller town to the west of Brighton, where I lived until I was uh, 18, 19, when I moved to Brighton. And for me, moving to Brighton was the opening up of a whole new world. Brighton is a very different place. It's very uh, culturally aware, very cosmopolitan big gay community, uh, lots of arts and music and uh, theatre come from Brighton. Turistička destinacija. It's a, it's a very big tourist destination. It's not industrial, it doesn't have the industrial history like Rijeka does. Um, Ima glazbenu scenu. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's, it was um, outside of London, I would say that Brighton is the second biggest um, musical destination for, for bands from, and artists from all over the world. Um, So in the past you would have seen the Beatles, you would have seen Jimi Hendrix, you would have seen mm -hmm. Pink Floyd played their premiere of Dark Side of the Moon in mm -hmm. Brighton. I only wish that I'd been there for that. But that was in 1972, I would only have been five, so that was not... <laughs> I couldn't have done that. Uh, but the atmosphere is very similar, people are very open. I see Rijeka as being quite liberal and very open to new ideas and new experiences and uh, the people are so very friendly and everybody that I've met since I've been living there have been very open to me, very welcoming and that's exactly the same atmosphere as in Brighton. Brighton in Brighton it doesn't matter where you come from, what language you speak or, or um, what religion you mm. take. It's, 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 it's about who you are, not about what you stand for or what you you think it's it's a very good nice community lovely community and i feel that i felt that now with the opening of uh, rieka 2020 that rieka is making itself giving itself a more of a separate kind of identity and uh, because i because i work with so many that's like the they identity koji se oslanja na nekako odvojenost to je svojstveno i Brighton. I Brighton misli za sebe da je nešto posebno drugačije od ostatka, da je na neki način navlastito svojstveno. Takvu samosvijest ima i rijeka. Yes, yes, I think it does. I think there is very similar, because for instance, in Brighton has the only Green Party member of Parliament in London. No other place in the UK has a Green mem Member of Parliament, a Green Party member, and people are very, uh, very proud of that. And it, you have that feeling when you go to Brighton that it's something different. People go there for a holiday, people go there for the weekend uh, to, have, to enjoy themselves, to, be, to have fun, to relax. There's so much to do, so much to see. And with uh, Rijeka 2020, uh, th uh, this year we'll, we'll hopefully kick that into action as well. That will, this impetus will start and um, people will, hopefully more people will come to Rijeka because of um, the EPK. Kako se vama osobno sviđalo i konceptualno kada razmišljate sad sa ove distance od par tjedana o otvorenju Dakle, samo kako on se da se skupa sviđalo. Mi smo vidjeli samo jedan segment na televiziji operu yeah. industrijale, ali Rijeka je zapravo cijela bila pozornica. To je ono što smo propustili vidjeti, da pravo duh grada, živo zgrada, no vibrantnost. Kako on se to svidjelo? Well, it's, it, it was going on all day. It started at 10 o'clock or earlier in the morning. Sa nikšičkim pivom našeg zajednog svijetelja. Yes. With the local beer. Sa vrlo da, da, sa vrlo da, multikulturalni. Gesto. 
Um, and there was something going on all day. There was something happening all day. There was something for children. There was something for the pensioners. There was something artistic going on in every corner of the city, uh, particularly in Stalingrad. There were stages on in every square, which was fantastic because you could walk from one part of the city. It's very easy to walk around Rijeka. It's very small. You could walk into one square and hear flamenco music, jazz music, and then walk around the corner into another square and you'd hear rock music, dance music, or, or a, child, a children's choir which was just fantastic. I'd never seen that in Rijeka before. The, car the Rijeka Carnival is fantastic. I love it, but the Epica, the opening of, on, that, on that day was something different. Everybody from Rijeka, as far as I know, was, was, was there. Kad govorimo o ovim sličnostima, sad ćemo ići aspekt po aspekt. Vi ste napisali jedan vrlo instruktivan tekst koji nama u Hrvatskoj, građanima Hrvatske, i recimo Hrvatima koji vole kazati tisućugodišnja hrvatska kultura i misle da se o njoj znaju, otkriva što što je u toj kulturi. Recimo u pogledu sličnosti Brightona rijeke kada je riječ o kazalištu i filmu. Vi iznosite nevjerovatne podatke za... Ja sam bio finski kritičar preko desetljeća, ali nisam znao da recimo 25. i tako 28. bila tako intenzivna djelatnost kada je riječ o kinooperaterstvu, da je film bio toliko popularan, da u jednom trenutku u jako kratkom vremenu prodano 750 tisuća ulaznica za filmske projekcije u Rijeci. Gdje ste našli to? That's... Um... It's um, it's in a recent book. It's a recent book uh, monography that I've translated for Art Kino in Rijeka, which hopefully will be published soon, maybe next month. Mm -hmm. Which was written uh. by that, that's that's it. And uh, th this is the, the what this is what it looks like now. But in the past, it was in various different formations in slightly mm -hmm. different buildings behind this building. And um, in the monography that I've translated, it gives it gives the the history of cinema in Rijeka. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some st statistics in there that are very unbelievable. Uh, Rijeka imala tada zapravo više kino dvorana yeah. nego ostatak Hrvatske. It, I, I, be I believe um, that there were at least 45 cinema screens or mm. places to see films, <laughs> indoors or outdoors, uh, in the open air, it, in Rijeka in the 1945. 19... Kada? Yeah. Kojeg godina? Around the early 1950s, when 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 cinema was at its peak mm -hmm. in in let's say Croatia, in Brighton that that peak had already dropped because of the advent of television. But um, in nine the, in the, the statistics uh, that I've translated says that there were 700 like you, as you said 750,000 cinema tickets mm -hmm. sold in Rijeka in the first six months of the year 1950. Nevjerojatno. Prvi so if you pola godine. Yeah. Yeah. So if you calculate uh, per, per day, that's nearly 4,000 people every day went to see a film. A koji je repertoar bio ste pogledali? The, uh, it, <laughs> there, is, there, is a mass, there is a long list mm -hmm. of films that were shown because um, the, the writer went into the archives and discovered all the novi lists list huh? day by day. And there were films from uh, all of Europe, France, Czech Republic, uh, Britain, uh, and a wider film from the Soviet, re Soviet Union, obviously, and from America. And the, and the, the, the range of films is fascinating. Look, the communists were very famous. In those days, the 48th was only two years ago. In Rijeci, in the corner, i isto tako u Puli su se redovito puštali filmovi koji su bili na repertoru u Italiji i tako dalje. Dakle, vi ste imali tamo recentnu produkciju u kinima. To je, eto, ipak se odličanstvo kako su zgodimice na nekim mjestem bili pametni komunisti. Film i kazalište. Kazalište nismo spomenuli. Kazalištnu scenu isto tako nalazite sličnom. Kazalište? Yes, there is a there is there is a comparison also because the 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 oldest cinema sorry the oldest theatre in Brighton was built at the same time around the same time as Ivan Zeit's theatre in Rijeka, and obviously the 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 theatre in Brighton doesn't have such a grand structure as as the one in Rijeka, but they do share the same history and they also have similar productions from all over all over Europe 
Um, and I've been to the... Znači, mi se nemamo čega šta sramiti u Hrvatskoj. Mi smo bili, kako da je, na svjetsko povijesnoj razini. U Rijeci se zbivalo isto ono što se zbiva u Brightonu tih godina. Čak možda i u reprezentativnim ambijentu. Well, obviously the architecture is much better, but each city has gone through different, um, let's say, uh, governance, governance through the, through the, mm. the centuries. And um, obviously this, the, the reactor... Pa mi volimo napraviti zgrade, makar recimo kasnije nemali promet, a napravimo... Ali, grafiti murali Rijeke i Baretona dalje vas podsjećaju na sljedeću sličnost. Ja, um... They, they are, they are, they are. I've seen, um, f um, every time I go back to Brighton, I see more and more graffiti. Tasteful, professional artists mm -hmm. are, who are commissioned to paint on buildings. And um, in, in Brighton there is always something new. And it uh, covers um, local people, it covers uh, local musicians, local artists, um, figures from Brighton's history who were important in the making of the city. And also in Rijeka, I've seen that this is happening too. Um, and for APK for Rijeka 2020, there will, some famous artists have been commissioned to paint, also to also paint murals during the year, which I hope will obviously it will brighten up the, the city, uh, because I think that murals can add some attraction to um, to a city, and they can even become icons, let's say, and uh, landmarks. People can say, oh, if you, if you go to this particular uh, mm -hmm. mural and then turn left, you'll see this little tiny bar in the cellar. That's the place to go for a, a, a late night drink or something like that. Um, and in Brighton, there is, it's full of, especially in the centre, it's full of murals. There's one very famous near the train station, which is on the side of an, an, uh, a very large pub. And uh, it has all the uh, deceased rock stars. So you've got Jimmy, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, John Lennon, and every time I go back there, unfortunately, they have to they have to add more uh, figures because. Ja već drugi put spominjete i glazbu i glazbenike, pa tematiziramo i to. Naš izabrani i sada i aktualni predsjednik sam je spomenuo parafe. Vi spominjete neke priješnje dečke, ali kad uzmemo tu punk i post-punk scenu. Ja sam generacija koja je točno uletila u pucanj, dakle, na ciljna skupina, dakle, New Wave-a. I ovdje, ali ovoga prije, dakle, u Britaniji, nas je jako formiralo ovdje u Hrvatskoj, Joy Division, Suicy and the Bands, Cure, Chrome, ne znam, sad da ne napravim, da ne kradim vrijeme. Uglavnom, ono što da želim pitati je, kako komparirate glazbene scene Brightona i Rijeke? Jer Rijeka je odigrala u povijesti, eto, hrvatske glazbe i kako kad je riječ o džezu, što manje ljudi spominje, ali kada je riječ o roku, rock'n'rollu i inim, dakle, sa dinačicama, veliku ulogu. Ja, 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 music coming from other, from Britain, let's say, the punk movement, etc., and how that inspired them to play the music. So I, uh, uh, so I, there is a comparison because Brighton has always had its very own tight uh, musician and freedom of liberal kind of music. There's no, there's no particular kind of genre of music played in Brighton. You can go to one bar and listen to uh, ethno music. You can go to another bar and hear jazz. You can go to, and hear punk not so much these days um, but a, a wide scope of music and it's the same in Rijeka. Rijeka you can go into a different bar and listen to different kinds of music and I've met people who play the music and I have to say they're better than any a lot of musicians that I've heard in Brighton. Mm -hmm. I played in a band in the mid 90s in Brighton and we did it for fun we weren't hoping to be famous or anything. Um, Razgovarajući sa tim glazbenicima jeste li shvatili da je isti tip nekakvog socijalnog bunta, da su isti motivi po sredi ovdje i u Britaniji toga doba? Yes. Ja, 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 apsolutno. To je zanimljivo. Ja. 
Paraf and um, the, a couple of other bands that, who, uh, who were at the forefront of that movement. Mm -hmm. As far as I understand, in the whole of Croatia, Yugoslavia, Rijeka was a hub of, um, of music, along with Pula. Pula was also a big... Mm, no? Ljubljana, oh, Ljubljana, Zagreb, yes. yeah. Beograd. Yeah, so, Ali Rijeka je imala samo svoju scenu, vrlo, yeah. vrlo, vrlo, vrlo izrazito. And, uh, and, and Brighton also had its own musical scene, it also had its own record labels, who, who, no. who, who print, published the vinyl, you know, you, you could find, uh, maybe uh, still these days you can find, find seven inch singles, there was only 100 copies ever made, and they're gold dust, you can, can't find these anywhere. <laughs> Spominjali ste mi kad smo razgovarali prije emisije da Rijeka i Brighton i nadalje da radimo te paralele imaju sličnu socijalnu osjetljivost ali i ekosvijest. Uh -huh. yeah. um, U čemu se to gleda? Well, um, I, 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 there's a comparison there because Brighton has always been very eco-friendly, very conscious of uh, waste and... Um, Each household has its own separate bins for separating out different kinds of waste. Um, Rijeka now is, is coming up to speed with that kind of uh, philosophy mentality, um, which is fantastic because uh, before, uh, maybe 10 years ago, there weren't these in every... Now every neighbourhood in Rijeka has a separate bins, containers for separating out the waste, three or four, for different kinds of waste. And... Um, the city of Rijeka every few months distributes uh, brochures and um, leaflets about how to separate your, separate your waste. In Brighton it's understood, this is done as it's almost become a law. If it's, I've heard that some people can, be, can receive a, some kind of uh, um, fine if they don't separate their waste properly. Because mm -hmm. every bin, every container has the house number or the flat number written on the container. So they know when somebody doesn't follow the, the system. In, in Rijeka, still, people were still throwing their waste into the same container. And it's, it's... A ovo, ova, ova prva, dakle, ovoga usporedba socijalne osjetljivosti? Um, yes, very, very socially aware, because, um, it, because it's a very open city. Um, I feel that Rijeka is a very open city. Um, u kom smislu? To se stalno govori. Mi smo Luka, mi smo otvoren grad. U kom smislu? Da čujem jednog stranca. U kom smislu je rijeka otvoren grad? Možda mi to u Hrvatskoj ne primjećujemo. Možda, možda svi mislimo da smo otvoreni, ne znam, evo, yeah. u Zagrebu mi rado prijamo Zagorce, Dalmatince, aha, aha, aha. onda tu iz Markuševca znaju ljudi yeah. doš, da... Well, <laughs> I, have ex <laughs> I have experienced, experienced different opinions about different parts of no. Croatia. I know that Zagreb looks down a bit, at, that Rijeka is like, looks down their nose and go, oh, well, yeah, yeah. And maybe, and maybe Rijeka people... No, but those are our small Charlie. Yeah, 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 OK, I'm Charlie. We love Rijeka. Rijeka today, I'm going to go to 50 minutes from Zagreb before you go to Rijeka. Dakle, na more i ručate nego što dođete s krana kraj Zagreba. Yeah. Ali to nije važno sada. Hoću kazati, ne postoje zapravo ti animoziteti, to su ovako lokalne čarke. Ali kako vama to izgleda kao ipak Englezu, koji je naučio, mislim, koliko London ima preko 350 nacionalnosti u ovom yeah. trenutku. Dakle, vama je to nešto najnormalnije, da je to Babylon, da ljudi različitih kultura, rasa, iz cijelog svijeta, možda i van zemaljaca ga vršljaju. <laughs> Ali ovdje je to malo drugačije. Sad, kako je vama ovoga, ta otvorenost rijeke uh, prezentna? Na koji način se ona otkriva? Well, as, as far as I know, there are, there are at least 20, or 20 to 50 minorities in Rijeka. Um, they, all, they also have their own little, little groups, their own little, little societies, but they, it seems that they've integrated into, into the community, into society, um, which is fantastic because obviously that's how things should be. And... Um, um, My, my, opinion, my opinion about Rijeka has changed, I have to say, over the years uh, since I've been there because um, when I first came there, it seemed to me to be quite closed and quite um, isolated. 
But with the advent of more tourism coming and um, more, more people, uh, there's a, there, unfortunately, there's a big exodus from Rijeka. People are leaving the city, which is a, which is a shame. Uh, to go to Ireland and Germany, etc. Da u 20 godina oko 40 tisuća. Yeah. Uh, ja riječ na manje. Da, yeah. this is shocking. This is. Um, Ali tako je to s ugdje u Europi. Nije to znate zbog ovog ili onog načina života. Ljudi cirkuliraju. Yeah. Mislim, yeah. Znači ćete jako puno Parižana u Berlinu i obratno. Berlin yeah. u Štokholmu. It, it, it can be a positive thing because you are sharing culture and your language is spreading and uh, arts etc are going outwards but if if the people are leaving because they feel no hope <coughs> or they have no optimism about staying in in this country or staying in Rijeka then that's that's a, that is negative Osjećate li vi tu beznadnost ili mislite da smo mi Hrvati depresivci um uh, I d- no, I don't think so. I think it's. Um, I think this could be. I think it could be some kind of uh, a hangover from <laughs> a hangover from from previous periods. Mm-hmm. This is something that um, Croats. They uh, they're not. They feel li- timid, little belittled by other other cultures. They are. They feel kind of suppressed or. Um, This is my own personal opinion. Ali so naš not... zajednički prijatelj kad smo kod toga kaže da je Hrvatska u posjedu svojvrsnog barometra koji se diže, diže, diže da bi yes. se stramoglavio prema zadanoj <laughs> negativnosti. To je to yeah. što rađa beznađe. Zašto smo mi tako po vašem mišljenju? Well, because, um, because I think everybody, has, everybody lives in hope of a better future. Everybody lives in hope of, uh, of, of, of things being better. Um, i made this analogy a few years ago where the Croatia is like a barometer that is rising and it almost almost gets to a point where everything is great, everything everybody is happy, the system works. Uh but then something happens and it drops drops down again and then this as um, your previous guest Paul Bradbury said, it drops to this uh, default negativity. Um I've seen this r- keep rising since I've been here. And, but then it keeps dropping at the same rate and um, it's a shame because um, there's so much positivity there's so much opportunity here as far as i understand croatia has everything it needs uh, it, 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 it's it's uh, i don't know if it's mentality or or uh, this negativity is inbred or is passed down from other generations the past was so much better now things are worse um, the 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 country's gone through so many different political systems structures, regimes 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 is quite a strong word <laughs> in english language it's a very strong word to say reg- regime and it's used probably not correctly when it refers to some it's in, it's used in a negative way i believe but i wouldn't say that croatia has gone through any regimes and i hoću kazati to i kraj su prošli kroz čujte i mi imamo ovog tu konotaciju dolazi da nunci i ekipa mislim da četiri godine nije bilo zapravo izbora fašisti su snažno dakle prisutni u gradu tako dalje tako dalje ta fašizam je morao biti demontiran u 3000 dakle je poginulih Jasno da govorimo o režimu, ali uh, neću vas kao stranca maltretirati sa našim nasljeđem komunizma i fašizma, nego nešto veselije, gay scena. Okay. The gay scene. The gay <laughs> Kažete da je uh, rijeka krajnje gay friendly poput Brightona. Brighton is a very gay friendly city. It's probably, I think a few years, maybe it, it, was the, it was the gayest capital in Europe, the gay capital of Europe at some point, maybe five, ten years ago. And this is <laughs> it's a very good example. Da. This is the Brighton Pride Festival. Šareno, dobro. Yeah. <laughs> every, every year um, up to half a million people come to this festival which lasts uh, three or four days. And there is a huge concert. Mogu doći simpatizeri? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've, been, I've been to I've been to a couple of them and it's it's completely open. You, there's no restrictions. You, obviously if it's just some glad that way. Yeah. <laughs> obviously if it's not your thing okay. then don't go because you won't you won't enjoy it but everybody the whole city opens up. Um 
there are other festivals. There's the, Bright the very famous Brighton Festival, which has been running for uh, decades. Kada usporedite tu situaciju sada sa Rijekom, i Rijeka je imala neke prve iskorake u Hrvatskoj. Dakle, lezbijska scena je također probijala led u Hrvatskoj, tako da imamo i mi ovoga slične fenomene s kojima se može čovjek ponositi u ovom smislu. Ja, 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 da je. The organization in Rijeka je Lori, and it's the first lesbian organization in the country. And um, that, I think that's great. It's fantastic because it's, that's, they stand out for G, uh, LGBT rights. Um, in, in Brighton, there's, there's a dozen associations doing the similar thing um, because there will always be prejudice everywhere in the world. Um, but for, as, in the, uh, as in the gay scene in Rijeka, I don't think there has been any out... out uh, need for for a, a gay uh, scene. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, there aren't any openly gay men. But maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But you have any doubt that netko ko je gay ima ikakih problema u rijeci? Ili su ljudi naprosto gay friendly? No, no. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. I've been, I've walked down Corso and Rijeka and seen gay men uh, walking hand in hand. Okay. And nobody has blinked an eye. Corso is, is a, as you know, is no, no, no. quite a wide pedestrian street and you can see, you can watch every kid Lepo za čuti. Lepo za čuti. Recite mi, što vi mislite, zašto su medije u Hrvatskoj iznenađeni time kada se piše nešto pozitivno, eto, o Rijeci ili Hrvatskoj? Mi kao da smo razočarani, zašto oni ne, uničavaju, ne uočavaju te naše tragične razmirice, naše borbe po šumama i gorama, naše partizane i ustaše, kad ih imamo tako lijepe i pitoreske. Well, this is something that I've never understood. This is something I've never understood. It's either the Croatian media reacts overwhelmingly as being astonished that why would the foreign media write something good about us? Why would there be such a positive reaction to the country? Mm -hmm. or, they're, or they're completely scathing towards the foreign media, saying they don't understand us, they, they don't understand our history, they don't, they, don't, you know, they don't appreciate what we've been through, what we've experienced. Because um, for, for, let's say, Brit British people, Croatia is purely a, a tourist destination, as was Yugoslavia. So you, can't, it, you would have to be in a, in a different kind of... Uh, journalistic field mm -hmm. to write something that isn't about journalism about Croatia. You would have to be very in depth with with the, with the subject. But for instance, the Guardian will only write positive things about Croatia because they're, wor they're working in a t they're working in a touristic kind of uh, uh, atmosphere. So um, when uh, when the Guardian writes something very positive about they write a very, they wrote a very good piece about Rijeka the opening of Rijeka 2020, and on social media the people were uh, were the reaction on social media by Croats were wow they really think that this is something great, and they they don't they don't believe it, and that I always that I always find that reaction to be a, it always surprises me, um, and again I don't know where that comes from I don't know. Why that happens? Vrlo jednostavno, ja ću vam objasniti kao građan Hrvatske. Gradijan je krajnje ljevo, oni su prepoznali svoje ljevičare u rijeci. Mi znamo da je to sve skupa Jugo, Joga i ta zvijezda i znamo kut to dolazi. I zna se, sve nam je jasno. Ali, u kratku sam objasniti, kraće nisam mogao. Sad kad se vrati u rijeku, malo da se objasnite tamo. Isto, šalim se, ali u svaku šali puno istine. Čujte, pogotovo ovo da se samo podcenjujemo i da mislimo da su naše crveno-crne dijalektike ruleta ovog povijesnog puno važnije od tog turizma koje spominjete i naše izložene svijeto. Ali kad smo kod toga, turizam stavno računa na naturu, na prirodne ljepote, ono što smo zatekli. Ali vi sad stavno govorite o kulturi. Možemo li mi u Hrvatskoj, recimo Rijeka, pomoći jedan trajan i mimo ove godine evropske predstavnice kulture, trajan ovoga izazov 
Evropi da navraća u Hrvatsku, u rijeku, u naše krajeve, jer mi imamo i kulturni proizvod. Mi nismo dakle samo po prirodi snažni momci za igre s loptom ovoga, ni jako zgodne djevojke koje će tu tako široka srca doći kad je turiste. Na prekrasnim, nedjernutim, intaktnim plažama jer je to tako mediteran kakav je bio izvorno, nego imamo li mi nešto što smo posredovali svojim radom, znanjem, pameću i tako dalje za ponuditi svijetu? Yes, absolutely. There is so much more still to discover about this country for tourism, for foreigners. There is so much culture still to be uncovered and history and literature that and I work with 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 museums i work with agencies with um, management cultural heritage man management companies who are uh, recovering let's say recovering rejuvenating reviving some of these uh, the, the natural treasures the the hidden treasures the um, the hidden uh, archaeology architecture history which which uh, has been lost over the decades which has been lost and forgotten So I feel quite, I feel like I'm adding something to this because I work as a translator, and there are many things that this country can be proud of, and many things that will will outlive the the the, the presidency and the, the Rijeka's um, 2020 capital of culture. Znači, vi mislite da je kulturna produkcija Hrvatske danas, a upoznati se neko i sa likovnošću i sa našom živom, dakle, pisanom riječju, poezijom, prozom, ali i sa onom što čini povijest, kamo ova prevodite vi osobno. Vi mislite da bismo se mogli afirmirati, eto, bez ikakovog hemunga, bez ikakovih, dakle, samo ponižavanja ili samo pocijenjivanja u Evropi danas i time? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it maybe it's it maybe it's a process. Maybe it's a process that the country is going through to be more positive, to pick itself up, to say, okay, we lived through all of this. We, this is our path. This is um, we mm -hmm. we should that we can't change history. These are the facts. These are the facts. This is it. But that's not what we're going to be from now on. Or that's not we are. Now. That's not what we are now. And so when um, politicians or when uh, um, local government regurgitate, bring up old uh, political wounds, let's say, they open up these wounds and say, oh, well, the, this happened in 1940, blah, 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 then it just perpetuates the negativity and, um, peop and uh, specifically the older generations will always shake their hands and go, oh, it wasn't like that in, back in our day. We could be like this now, or we should be like this now. But I feel that the younger generations of Croats are, are, are getting over this progression, progression from this, uh, this um, feeling. Uh, there are a lot of things that can be better and can be uh, improved, I think. Evo, došli, došli smo do kraja, imamo možda minutu za jedno važno pitanje koje bi vjerojatno tražilo puno više vremena, ali kratak odgovor. Uh, Britanija nije samo kultura, nego civilizacija. Ona je na sve nas utjecala od uvijek i na narazičite načine. Moju generaciju glazbom, na nekog drugoga, bilo koji roman koji dobio Bukera ovdje se odmah čita i tako dalje. Šta mislite da će se zbijati nakon Brexita? Hoće li to uopće imati ikakvog utjeca na taj kulturni impakt, kulturni utjecaj Britanije na Evropu? To je veoma interesna i komplikana kvijestina. Znači da u ovom I think over the, the over the period of this year, things will become much clearer. But the the, the deadline, the no deal deadline threat, is the end of the beginning of next year. Mm -hmm. And um, I am very anti-Brexit. I, um, I don't like really like talking about politics because that's my own personal opinion. But uh, um, I think it was a bad idea, and I think it will have knock-on effects with the cultural, um, let's say, the cultural things coming out of Britain. Um, particularly in the things that I enjoy, which is music, and the bands coming from um, the bands coming from England and travelling to the country. And um, recently, this week, the government have announced that musicians coming from the EU will have to have a visa to work uh, in the UK, which is a disaster. Hvala vam lijepo što ste bili moj gost. Vrlo, vrlo zanimljiv dakle, pogled evo, na nas same iz perspektive jednog Britanca koji je postao i riječanin 
ili fiuman, kako god bilo. Hvala da li gledali što ste bili sa nama još jednom. Gledajte nas naravno i sljedeći puta, a i sljedeći puta ćemo imati jednu gošću izvana, iz Austrije, no do tada doviđenja, laku noću.